So, in today's video, assuming that you've seen the title, we're going to be making basically a vacuum cannon. I've got a large amount of copper pipe. It's all I've got at the minute, so I'm thinking it's going to be good enough. Uh, I've got a few fittings. So this is a small little uh, KF16 adapter, which goes to a 6mm pneumatic fitting. So what I need to do to this part is I need to turn the outside down a little bit, and I need to put a few rings in it for some rubber seals. And then hopefully we can get this just perfect so it pushes just inside a bit of 15mm copper pipe. Okay, so the base principle of how this thing's going to work is quite simple really. So the first thing we've got is our length of copper tube, which is going to look something like that. What else we've got is our pump. So quite simply, we're going to join the pump to the length of copper pipe. We will then put our projectile in the back of the pipe and then we're going to cover both ends of the pipe with tin foil. What we'll then do is switch the pump on, bring the pipe down to pressure. Once the pipe's been brought down to pressure, we'll rupture one side of this tin foil, basically poking it and breaking it. When we do that, the air is going to rush into the back of the pipe, propelling this projectile down this length of pipe. And because there's no air in front of the projectile, there's nothing to slow it down. And it's going to build up quite a lot of speed in a very short amount of time. Right, so I've got all this pipe laid out. I've made sure everything fits in that and everything does fit quite well. I just need to go in and solder all these joints up now. After I soldered together all this 15mm copper pipe, made a cup of tea, turns out that one of my mates has got a load of 22mm copper pipe just lying around. And that's where we are now. So instead of making this out of 15mm, I've now made this out of 22mm and it's just exactly the same as the 15mm copper pipe. I should also probably state by this point that I can't recommend any of this and that you shouldn't do it at home as it can be quite dangerous if something unexpected happens. So this first shot was just kind of to get a gauge of the speed. Um, I'm filming this at a thousand frames a second and it covered about four inches in one frame so I'm assuming we're in the ballpark of about 200 miles an hour. So this one's quite an interesting shot and I actually like this one quite a lot. You see when the nail hits the front of the glass, it actually goes up through the lid. That's how much it redirects it. In this first shot, the nail passes through one mil thick steel. And then the second shot, it passes through two mil thick steel. And then in this third shot, it passes through 3mm thick steel with still no sign of slowing down. Initially when I seen this one, I thought the nail obliterated the light bulb. But then I realised it was actually just the paper and the nail comes out and follows right after. It was actually quite surprising how much damage a bit of paper could do if it's going fast enough. But in this second shot, I finally managed to nail it. These last shots are in real time. And this is why I've slowed a lot of it down, because in real time, you just can't see much. Well, I really didn't think that it was possible to have so much fun with a length of 22mm copper pipe. I mean, seriously, the power on this thing is absolutely unreal. My favourite piece so far has got to be definitely this. It went through this side, this side, and then this side. And that little bit of an air gap really helps for the projectile to pierce through all of these as like separate plates. But altogether, that is still, you know, three mil of steel there. This light was quite good. It went with a right good pop the first time when it went through the bulb. And then the second time got a right good shot right through the centre pretty much. This was one of the batteries that I shot. See that went straight through. This was the can. This was just a, a can of expanding foam that had already been used. And I actually smashed the top open just to make sure that it was definitely empty. Shot another battery. This was a bigger battery, an alarm battery. Um, went straight through both sides. Yeah, again. This was the clipper, and I really wanted to get a proper good shot right at the back, but this was kind of more of like a, a glancing blow, really. Got a few blocks of wood with some nails in, like this one over here. 
So this is a close-up of what some of these projectiles look like after they've been fired, um, absolutely mangled. And this is a close-up of the projectile coming out the end of the barrel. You can see that there's still a little bit of pressure left over in there. I also want to say this was done in a safe setting and I'm using 10 and 15mm steel as a backstopper. So I think that's about it for this video and thank you for watching.